coming to you live, almost live, from Q-Talk America headquarters. It's working it out with Ernesto and Jean. On today's show, we have your hosts, Ernesto Ortiz and Jean Moore. Our special guest today is Millie, and I am straight native Angelista. Who's working it out? We're, We're working, working it out. out. Who's working it out? We're, We're working it out. out. So who's working it out? I'm We're working, working it out. Well, happy Pride. Happy Woo. Pride. Yeah. Happy Pride. If you're listening to the show, you should be at the Pride event right now. Yes. It is Saturday. Get your ass out. Get your life together. <laughs> Ernesto, tell them where they can go on Pride on the website to get their tickets. Well, if they haven't gotten their tickets already, um, yeah, they I don't even they should have gotten their tickets because there's right. some great specials. But uh, you can also go on phoenixpride.org um, to beat the lines, or you can stand in line and get the tickets there. At the get a tan while you're standing yeah, in line. Stand in it line. Is, but it's a long ass line because the weather is nice. Mm-hmm. Bring your kids. Bring your kids. Get your life straight. <laughs> You should be watching us on stage, the Working It Out crew. Because it's hot. It's Bring hot. us some water. Get Do us really some water. Do you really want them to get their lives straight? Well, oh, oh, girl. No. Get your life crooked and nasty. Yes. Crooked and nasty. Thank you, Nate. And it's going to be, it's, I mean, it, it is hot. Uh, it is <laughs> hot out there. Oh, sexy Joshua! I have from, sexy Joshua from last week is sweating all over the place. And we are killing it on the <laughs> stages right now. We are killing it in a nonviolent way because we don't condone violence. No, no, we're talking about killing it through jokes and through comedy. But this is the Pride event, um, Nate. Yes, um, this is going to be your first Pride event. Woo! We're pre-taping this show. How do yes. you? How are your feelings about this? I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. You know, it's going to be a different kind of show. It's yeah. a stand-up. My that's pretty much my main angle. I've um, never done a a big show there's gonna be how many people do you think are gonna be actually around us Ooh, well you thousands. know the average i think the, uh, um, huh? i think they said one one year that um pride had 30 30 000 people there mm. um so they won't be it, all watching us well <laughs> yeah, there'll be a couple hundred yeah. when they're in the club when they're, they're uh, uh, watching yeah. us oh, we're excited to check eyes on us no. <laughs> All eyes on us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's gonna be, people are gonna see us uh, as they pass through. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna have a lie. A lie Don't pass through. us. <laughs> Sit your ass down and watch. Yes. Yeah. yeah and, and if you're listening right now and you're hearing this and um, you see us on stage, stop. Listen to some jokes. We're very funny. <laughs> <laughs> sure, it'll be eye opening experience here. Before Thank you, and Ernesto. <laughs> and then Thank play you. this back later. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So let me get your take, Billy, on Pride. What does Pride mean to you? Oh, I'm just excited for the poppers, you know? <laughs> <laughs> what about the lockers? Uh, poppers <laughs> in the lockers uh-huh. with some cockers. <laughs> there will be poppers, lockers, but is anybody going to drop it? I mean, I'm going to drop it. I might bring it back up, but you yeah. know, I just might let mm-hmm. it sit there for a while. It's not going to go bad. Just feel it out. Mm, that's the Trust truth. Trust your heart. You know, with pride, it's interesting because everybody's always making it just all about being proud of being gay. And, you know, right. to me, it's I'm proud of being gay every goddamn day. Right. I don't need a weekend in April when it's hot out and my makeup is running I'll to be uh, proud. Can I get a witness? Yes. Sing it, girl. You know? Yeah. But this is this is a, this is the weekend to celebrate. It is being mm-hmm. pr- your pr- your pride all year. And what we forget is that there are a lot of people that are closeted that do not come out, and this is the only time of the year where they come out and mix in with their community. It is the only time. This is the only time where they come. They come from other cities. They come from other you know places. Some from other states. I'd imagine that's got to be so hard, no matter what it is. I mean, if you have a to you be know, hiding who you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't yeah. hide who you are. You know, just mm-hmm. go out and get a blowjob. Yeah, well, they yeah. come. They come and they get empowered, but that's why they Through have a that blow job. Rule, you know, like you can't take pictures because there are a lot of closeted people that do not come out. And so. Is photography not allowed at Pride? <laughs> yes, it is. No, okay. no, 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 like the news media. Like the no, news, they're there, too. They, but they ask you, can oh. I photograph They you, have so. to. That's a liability release. Really. This you is know, not Berlin Pride, 1944. <laughs> boo. But I think you're, well, you know, if you, you don't want to be in the picture, yeah, don't be in the picture. Because if you're in a, I Some think if crazy it's like, shots. well, if the, you're in a, um, if it's just a public area, then they don't have to ask anyone. Taking pictures of the I don't clouds. know the rules of photography. I'm just <laughs> saying that it's a very... She's not a lawyer. She just give ha- gives hand jobs to <laughs> one on TV. <laughs> hey, now. Yes. Anyway, so this is what pride is. And Ernesto, what does pride mean to you? What do you think? Let's see. Pride means a lot of things. I think um, some of that where um, uh, uh, people get to come out and be proud of themselves for that day. But for me, I mean, I, I've had a good experience um, being gay. I, I don't have the stories where... Or my parents hated me. Um, Did you ever uh, get fired from a job? Never got gay? fired from a job. Um, I, 
It's Did you ever have a friend that wasn't your friend because you were gay? No, none of that. Um, you know, the and it's very few times where I, I mean, I was called the names uh, and, and made fun of. Um, like but sorry about that. Yeah. My bad. Yeah. yeah. What are the, some of the names like? Chubby. Oh, we're, <laughs> we're, 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 we're talking about pride. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but um, I, I haven't had those experiences. So because of that, um, and I'm very lucky and blessed, yeah. um, but because of that, it, it's even even more so. It, it's a day where I can um, really express myself, uh, feel proud. It's a holiday for me. It really is a holiday. It for really me. is. And I've been to these prides ever since. Uh, and since uh, ever since I was 14, I came out of the closet when I was 14. I'm 36 now. Thank you, Gene. I, I said my race. <laughs> ages <laughs> on TV. <laughs> We're gonna edit that out because this is a recording. <laughs> so she said twenty so. Yes, she said <laughs> when you when we play like oh, yeah. nineteen. <laughs> so how has it changed, Ernesto, since you've been going on for so long? Has it just grown and grown? Or? Yeah, you know, it used to be at Diablo Stadium mm-hmm. um, in Tempe. That's uh, the what's f- up. Yeah, and um, El Diablo. El Diablo. And uh, uh, it used to be in 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 the field. And you'd park your car, and the park your car would sink by the end of, by the oh, end of the uh, oh, by the yeah. end of the festival. Yeah, and it was it was small. It was like the, it reminded me of like a little craft fair. There was a few a few booths, um, and there was a stage, <laughs> and and that was it. There was no big headliners that they, like they have now. Um, and there was a few hundred people. Now it's it's they've got five or six stages. I don't even know. But, um, there's a headliner in each stage now. Um, it's huge. There's uh, crazy sponsors and. And it's DJs so well run and, and organized and, yeah. too, because like when I'm dealing with Natalie, the entertainment manager, she's I mean they have offices. It's it's very professional. Even when we were down there, when we saw that picture of Jason Stewart, I mean it was just that's so organized. Yeah, and you know we uh, we are an eye shot uh, from the Pride office here at, at Q Talk America. If you look out the window, um, I I from my view, I'm I'm actually staring at the Pride office right now. Um, and but it's amazing. You know, it's amazing that we have. Um, such a festival, a festival that is so large here um, in this in this state. There's a, a lot of places that don't have these these yeah. types of festivals, yeah. and this is one of the largest in the in the nation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so we're lucky that we're there performing right now. When I mean, you're listening, oh to this. my gosh, this is very exciting. Right now, we're nervous. We're right now going over it in our nerves. Right now, we're bitches to each other. Uh, right now, there's gonna be a fight. There's gonna be a fight. <laughs> <laughs> we just don't know. Who's gonna be we're the gonna one? knock Ray off the stage? That's gonna be Ray, yeah, because yeah. he's gonna be keeping the time. Because we, <laughs> yeah, so he will stab me. Yeah, I see. think she has it. Yeah, out for well, me. watch it, girl. <laughs> so pride is one thing that's happening. What else is happening in the entertainment world? What is happening? Well, you know, a lot of shit's going down in the, in the entertainment world. Um, right now, it's you know springtime, so new beginnings. It's we're celebrating. We've just actually celebrated this holiday. You know, that's all about persecution and rebirth. Right. Of course, I'm talking about Lindsay Lohan's court date. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she has one every year. It's an annual event. Is she stealing again? Is that Girl. what I Okay, so the new story is Lindsay Lohan is doing this uh, bit with Charlie Sheen. He has this. What? The I- ice. <laughs> Brace yourself. Crazy, and the bit isn't crazier. syphilis. It's a TV show. Um, she has called, this TV show called Syphilis. For Loco. Anger <laughs> Management. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That let that sink in. Lindsay Lohan, Anger mm. Management. So the story is she did this cameo. She taped it. And um, the wardrobe people came back. And they're like, where the fuck's all of our jewelry? No. Uh, Lindsay. She's, didn't that happen before? It did. My point exactly. It, leaving Lindsay Lohan with jewelry sitting out is like leaving donuts sitting out at a fucking Weight Watcher. It's like they're not going to be there. <laughs> Drinks at an alcoholic's <laughs> and <laughs> didn't uh, they allow her to go into Elizabeth Taylor's original dressing room and she was stealing some she stuff? She trashed from it. Yeah, how are you gonna trash oh. Liz Taylor's dressing room? I know. I did hear though that she did find Liz Taylor's stash of Twinkies from 1965. <laughs> oh, that's not just paying a rent right because those are very She's expensive. She's been dead right for a while. It's allowed to make fun of Liz that. Taylor is a yes. legend in the house. She's, she's just a clipto. Like I mean, I know she's got problems. Does she still have money though? It's well, no, she doesn't. She lives off of champagne. And blowjobs. Um, right now, she's doing a gig in Brazil, um, right. where she just actually wrapped it up. And there's all these like scandalous pictures, and the people are saying they're scandalous because Lindsay's drunk and sitting under a table. Yeah, I call that Monday morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at those pictures, and it doesn't look anything. Uh, well, her hair looks great. I mean, I'm glad and, somebody washed it for her. Yeah, her hair does look great, and her makeup looks on. great. <laughs> Did she? She pick actually, it? she actually looks great. I mean, under a table, well, wasted. Well, yeah, wasted. Well. I never thought she was attractive even when she was. 
No, I did. Oh, you know no, what? She was out. cute. And that that song, "Confessions of a Drama Queen," that's Get a good life ride. I like that song. You what's that song that I used to love of hers? Rumors. Remember that song? Uh, oh yeah. Dun, 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 I'm sick of rumors. But, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Did you ever hear "Confessions of a Drama Queen"? Though I love that song. Megan Fox was in that movie. I love that. Before it, she. Do you got know the what I'm talking face. about? No. Oh, it's it's really. I good like song. Mean Girls. That's where she peaked, I think. The mean yeah. Girls, and then she there was that one movie, Georgia like, was Georgia Rule. Yeah, it. with Jane, with Jane Fonda, Fonda. Oh, yes. and I loved Lindsay, and that she was so nasty. No, she was. She, I feel like <laughs> that was the real Lindsay. Like she yeah. was a man snatching, cock thirsty power <laughs> party. She was nasty chick. in that movie. Is it a reality and movie? Was it a documentary? <laughs> well, it, it was a documentary about my life. <laughs> yes. yes, I often about drink Millie's with Jane life. Fonda. <laughs> Did we even introduce Millie properly? Oh, we didn't. I'm yes. sorry. Please. Okay, hold on, hold on. He's on the team. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes and has been for a few minutes, <laughs> Millie. Hey, coming to the stage. Oh, oh Millie, you. oh, Millie, oh, Millie. Oh. Would Thank you hate you. that song that came out? Or was that like your no, jam? No, that was my jam. I used okay. to drop it down to that. Yeah. But, you know, I'd drop it down in the hood bars, and I was too scared to bring it back up because if somebody <laughs> saw me, twerk, honey, I was the wrong shade, let me tell you. Do you know what's going on with Justin Bieber? Poor little Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber. He's, I don't have any sympathy for him. Why? So I he's have just a, rich. You know, he's, he's, he's just a kid. Young. He's you know, and lesbians have it hard. You know, <laughs> let's just call it for what it is. <laughs> They're overcoming obstacles. My personal theory is he was possessed by Tupac's ghost. It's the <laughs> only way to explain. When, when they brought that hologram out, when they brought that hologram out, some shit started. There was it an did. electrical storm. <laughs> Beaver know. got electrocuted, and now he's gangster as fuck. He's yeah. very gangster. Now, so he, yeah, he's like how, Vanilla I, Ice gangster. Yeah. What the hell does he uh, do? This gangster, tell me. I, okay, well, his well, just like, he's working neighbor. backwards. Uh, he went to Poland just on Friday. Oh, that's so gangster. And he is like spitting and fighting with his neighbor, and so now they're Poland. That's not gangster. That's girl, that's not. No, 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 trash. No, no. Yeah. It is very trash. trash. That's Britney Spears' wedding, right? <laughs> and <laughs> Britney, bitch. going back a little bit more than that, that they're saying now that photographer that died, there's something, there's more to the story. That oh, a dead paparazzi. There's a Let second car. Weep over it. There's a second car. So like JFK shit right there. What's that? Yeah. What happened? The Someone beeper, died. The beeper diary. It was a paparazzi <laughs> that was trying to take a picture of him. Um, allegedly, he was smoking pot. What allegedly? Allegedly, yeah, he hangs out with Little Twist. He's yeah. higher than Wiz Khalifa. He was smoking <laughs> pot in the car, and somebody wanted to take a picture. And of they that. ran over him. And then, yeah, somehow he got hit. Yeah, by but that's, oh. that's 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 part of the that's the if nature of the beast being a paparazzi. If right? you chase celebrities, yeah, somebody's yeah, gonna, someone's gonna, gonna run get you run down. over. That's Remember Sugar Knight? Oh, yeah. Nobody chasing him. No, he'll kill kill you, girl. Leave it to Bieber. I yeah. know. The you know, Biebs. The newest thing with Bieber, though, is he was just in Germany and he has a pet monkey. And it's not a, I you know, it's, it's not a He's going Michael Jackson. Jackson. I didn't know he was in Michael Jackson. That's phase. gangsta, see? They confiscated his monkey for some German like violation. I mean, you know, well, you, you have can't to bring be, animals into any country. What, into Germany? No, every animal has to go through controls because you could bring diseases. The hell does he need a monkey um, for? Lindsay Lohan travels freely. <laughs> so I don't know about that. She's in and out of controls. <laughs> Girl, she in Brazil now. Watch her spread. I don't know about she, that. She's like the avian flu. Don't breathe in, you'll catch it. <laughs> What's good? Is Wait. that the new thing? Like, uh, you know, Paris Hilton had that studio of chihuahuas. Is the monkey the new accessory in 2013? Well, they're bringing the monkey back. As, yeah. as I'm bringing new- monkey back. Yeah. Monkey, <laughs> monkey. <laughs> You know, it, it's for some of I love it when Ernesto tickles himself. It's <laughs> <laughs> the best. Well, he tickled himself a lot last week. Oh, 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 no. that oh, Sorry, I don't even Ernesto. remember his name. Who won the contest? Do we know yet? No, 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 no we don't know. Well, no. Ernesto Ortiz. <laughs> 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 yeah. I know. I see you have a picture of him still up on your phone. That's his background. That, that is the background now. <laughs> That's, That's his cover background. page on his Facebook. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna built. I'm gonna uh, Photoshop myself in there. That's a great and idea. And pretend it's, pretend it's real. I'm gonna have him make flyers for me. I want him to like. I want to have like a reverse bar mitzvah, <laughs> and I just want him to be there in some Jewish garb, just being really sexy and Yiddish. Leading you out of the desert, bitch. Yes, you out ma'am, of the desert. with those scrolls. Mm. And I hear he's got a big scroll. That's <laughs> just in case you don't know. Oh, uh, but he's not Jewish. Yeah. Our oh, last show we did have oh, a go-go no, dancer among other guests. Um, which was just a few hours ago because we're doing two shows in one day. But Ernesto <laughs> don't has don't give that away the illusion. What's wrong with you? Yeah, it's like the main. Oh please! It's the, it's they the know we're not live because we're at the pride. <laughs> it's the this l- is it's a illusion. Listen. That's <laughs> 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 funny. That's the sound <laughs> Bieber's penis makes when it gets hard. <laughs> <laughs> Do it again. No, th- and then Bieber Bell. And then. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Meanwhile, at the Lohan household. <laughs> I know. Hey, you know what? I also want to say this. Q Talk America has a new show. Um, actually, it would be their third show now. Is Ophelia Buns, and it's called Welcome to the Gaberhood. Oh, yeah. And yes. I love Ophelia. Love I her. love Ophelia. She's Ophelia. a legend. Yeah. It's a great I mean, gaberhood, gaberhood Friends. Gaberhood Friends. You, that's a different. You said a different show. It's like Mr. Rogers, but for the fun people. Yeah. And, yeah. He <laughs> named, uh, and, and uh, she named uh, a new co-host, oh, Bryce. Okay. Bryce. Oh, cool. Bryce. Bryce. Said. Oh, very cool. And I watched that show. And let me tell you, uh, Eric is very active in that show. Really? And they were asking Our him. Eric? Yeah. You wouldn't believe it. But yes, they were asking him questions like, uh, when was the first Eric? time you had sex? Guess what, time, guess what time? Guess what time? How old he was when he first how had sex? How old were you? He had sex. He was oh, sixteen. Sixteen. Uh, Bieber gang. Bieber. How old are you? <laughs> when I first had sex, yeah. with a man or a woman, with girl, whatever. Whatever. This, this is the not first. fiction, okay? Well, I don't. Both. Which was first? Huh? Oh yeah, which was first? Eric's not Mike, so I'll repeat. Which was first? Ah, oh, God, I hate this. Be honest. It must have been a chick then. No. <laughs> you hate Ew. I had a babysitter. Oh. I'm so scandalous. I, I can't say that story. But anyways, Eric was 16. But more amazing <laughs> than that, our puff daddy, uh, uh, Joe, they were asking him, did you ever bring food into the bedroom? And he <laughs> said yes. But he wouldn't give any more details. What? Oh, I bring in canned pickles. So I, I feel hungry. your buns. <laughs> I feel your buns. They, so it's they, more just an they talk thing, about not a sexy thing. Stay, you know, Gaberhood, fr- Gaberhood Friends, Monday night, 7 to 9. Oh, we're oh, oh, we're doing all the oh, plugs. Oh, my goodness. Eric's new show. Eric's new show <laughs> coming on Mondays. Though. I didn't call it my show. Ophelia, <laughs> no. Ophelia is a she legend. She will read you. Yes, she she will needs to be watched. She's a genius. That was Gene Moore. That was a good show. She did a really good show. And Bryce is her new host. Yeah. And I love Ophelia. She's so much fun. I ran into her at Caramba's uh, a couple weeks ago, and we were taking s- dumb pictures. I saw her at Safeway once. Did you? It was amazing. I've seen her <laughs> perform before. I've seen her yeah. before. She does a really... That's some fierce comedy that she does. Uh, yeah. I, t- I tell her that. I learned s- I learned how to do comedy by watching her. I mean, she's really yeah. putting it down. I learned how to walk in pumps by <laughs> watching her. Same show, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love her. She's walking I've education. <laughs> <laughs> tool. Yeah, well, since we were plugging things, um, I think we should plug our sponsor. Okay. Yeah. Me. So we have our sponsor. You know, we cannot do the show without the sponsors because you know this show's for free. This show's for free, but it costs money to produce it. Somebody's gonna get yes. a speed of chips. Yeah. And Dr. Somebody's got to pay the bill. Is it Dr. Pepper? No, no, put that down. They didn't oh. pay for it. Put, put that. <laughs> our real sponsor. Is it Perel? <laughs> no, girl, put that down. Our real. Sp- <laughs> is it my iPhone? Oh, girl, no. Okay. Our real sponsor is Audible.com, and do you know that Audible has over one hundred thousand amazing audiobooks available in their collection, and you can conveniently listen to them on your computer, laptop, or smartphone, or even your tablet. <laughs> and they're amazing. Yeah. I mean. I have a Fifty Shades of Grey book from them. <gasps> and you guess do? who narrates it? Native Angelista? <laughs> yeah. You do? No, I wish that'd be cool, but <laughs> Yeah, that would be good because I'd get royalties. <laughs> <laughs> but um if you go on audibletrial.com slash Q Talk America and use the promo code Do we know? Q Talk America? Backslash. Well, first met Alex Gray. Oh, wow. you use the promo code Q Talk. Hey, you use the promo code Q Talk, you get a free book. Can I be on T V this America. week? Huh? Q Talk America. Oh. Q Talk America. Q oh, Talk Q-talk, Cambodia. I'm sorry. Yeah. Use a, uh, c- uh, a promo code Q Talk America. So let me do that again. So it's audibletrial.com slash Q Talk America. And the promo code is Q Talk America. Can, uh, um, can I be on TV this week? Can I be in with Nate? Can you put me on the TV? <laughs> can you put me on the TV? Where are you? We're on two Where TVs. Where are you, Gene? There we are. I won't be on the screen. Gene is suffering right now because he's been he's been fighting a cold. Oh, I know. I know. And I've been, I've been sick. And so can you see me on the... Uh, we're like right now. on your screen. Okay, good. Because they keep blocking me. I Gene, I, I like that shirt. You like my shirt? Yeah, you're nice. like um, like, it's like a, a picnic table. Yeah, yeah, it is kind of like a picnic table. <laughs> Thank um, you. You're like what's her name? Daisy from the Dukes of Hazards. What oh, the hell is that? I don't know. Is just, that a compliment? That's Jessica, just Simpson. Just <laughs> Jessica Simpson. <laughs> thank you. I also want to say something because this is our pride. I want to thank the Comedy Spot for putting us in the flow. And so that would see how I brought it back to you the did. pride. And so uh, it was nice to be in the in the parade. So I just want to thank. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Comedy high. Spot, for making it. It happen. was high. It was nice waving at a lot of people. I'm, uh, I'm worried that I'm going to need security that day. Security. 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 You're going to need like a train. You're all over the. Uh, it's all over the festival. Oh, I know. Well, you are too. Go get a golf cart. When you're in the parade, did you do the Miss America wave? 
Um, well, we're going to be talking about this, so it'll be in the past. So I did do that. I did <laughs> make... <laughs> <laughs> the Mr. America wave? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, you know, it sounds cute now, but it's going to be cute getting up at 8 o'clock in the morning. Because I have a show Friday night. Who doesn't? Yeah, I know. And then we're gonna, so we're going to be there at 8 oh. o'clock in the morning wow. for the parade. And then we're going to be there. Well, it's going to be a long day. That's all right. It's we already told Ray, no drinking. No, no drinking. drinking. No, keep Hennessy away from this bitch. She is thirsty. You should see Ray. Her. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, my, my girl. girl. Hey, Nate. So uh, yes. this is gonna be our first pride. Yes. Who already asked us? Um, so what are you expecting? What do you think? I what really do don't know what to expect. Um, but I am gonna be, you know, checking out the festivities before and after we do stuff. Um, mm -hmm. you know, meeting up with a, a couple of friends there. They can show me around. They're they're very familiar with the pride thing. So oh, wait, oh, wait, wait a minute. So gay, have you got gay. some gay friends? Gay lesbian friends. Yes. Oh. Oh. So there goes your time. You're gonna have fun. <laughs> <laughs> there what? are some fun <laughs> lesbians out there. Oh, yes, I they met love them. the trampoline. Like I've noticed that every time I've gone near the yeah. trampoline or the mechanical bull, it is yeah. there's a mechanical bull. There's a mechanical bull. And the it's lesbian oh, zone, it's like they gangster did. territory. And of course, I'm just kidding. I have a lot of fun. My friend Stephanie Chapstick, who we should have on the show, she's insane. She's crazy. Um, she could drink anybody under the table. Our castmate Rachel, who is a oh, lesbian yeah. goddess, oh, yeah, yeah, and we yeah, love yeah, her. Yeah, we love her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have a lesbian friend? Um, Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> lesbians, lesbians don't really like me very much for because I mean I'm very feminine and I don't think they like that in a bar. Feminine. No. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I do have a lot of lesbian friends. They're very artistic and I love them and very talented and they know who they are. So shout out. Right now they're on the mechanical bull as we speak. <laughs> as we speak. <laughs> and the trampoline. Or they're doing that cupcaking at Erotic World. Oh, yeah. That cupcaking. The erotic. I yes, I told that's why they're going. And yeah, yeah. shout out to, to Donnie and Rosie. They listen to our show. Oh, hello. Hey, girls. Hey, Donnie so. and Rosie. How you doing? It'd probably be good to have them come in and talk to us sure. about lesbianisms. They're and hilarious. And lesbian cupcakes. things. That lesbians do mm. like hoe like what like hoe cakes? I don't know. <laughs> hoe cakes. <laughs> Come, where, I, sorry. where do I buy hoe cakes? <laughs> sorry, sorry, I saw another picture of Joshua. Let's put this uh, down. I get crazy. <laughs> I know. I can't believe <laughs> you still have that up. Let me. Oh can you care. please look at, and there's the, look at this? Um, I take several. Pi oh, hold on. Several pictures of him. Indifferent. Oh, here we go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> he has that bone. Look that at there we go. Those are the those are the cum gutters, aren't they? Is that what it is? Wow. Cum gutters. <laughs> is, is, that what, is that what they are? Yes. <laughs> yep. Thank you for having cum gutters. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. I love you so much. Oh my goodness. Oh oh my God. God. <laughs> that is. He just, just stopped at the one with him taking his shirt off. Yeah. Know? That's the yeah. one you should have Let posted. His little nipples are like eyes saying hi. <laughs> you know, it's like no matter where you look, they're looking at me. I you know, know so funny. My <laughs> ass is amazing. Let's you know, call it for what it you is. You know, uh, my dad used to hype up. <laughs> well, that's yeah. a great segue. Uh, <laughs> no, <'cause> nipples. <laughs> he, yeah, nipples. Because he used to have this poster of this lady uh, com coming out of water. It was like like a Budweiser ad. And um, she was jumping out of the water, or she's in the ocean, or something. She had these big knockers. Go on. And and they, she didn't have a shirt on. <laughs> and I'm like, Bob. He's like, What? <laughs> she's hot. I'm like Bob. And I, t I would tell him anywhere I walk in the house, she's looking at me. Oh, They're staring oh. at me. <laughs> the, the nipples. <laughs> the nipples are staring at me. That's child abuse. <laughs> Yeah, well, well there it is. <laughs> don't That's look directly gay. at the nipples. Yeah, don't look. Yeah, you, you'll How do you not? I mean, they're like a focal point. I mean, I'm gay, and obviously there's no interest there, but when I see nipples on a girl, I just lose attention. It's like they're like little circus clowns, like trying to get your attention. No, rodeo clowns. I feel like a bull. I don't know what to do. I got to look at I don't at even him. know how to respond to that. <laughs> like, you, you know what I mean? <laughs> continue the nipple talk. <laughs> <laughs> it's so interesting because some just like pew stick out and some are just like flat against Nate, the paper. I'm very so comfortable with your moms. <laughs> I just remember she's, <laughs> hey, she's still here. Nate's See, what you don't know <laughs> is that we raised good Catholic boys, and right now I'm just praying, Lord. Nathan, your mom is. <laughs> let's talk. Let's just transition right now. We're switching subjects. Yeah, we from probably should. Let's talk about the Pope. <laughs> Nate, 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 oh, man. Girl. <laughs> Can I just switch to. He's bright red. I thought I was bright red with Joshua. Can I go to my segment that we didn't talk about last you week? Turn magenta. Uh, can you bring up the Pope music? It's called "What the Fuck's the New Pope Doing?" Oh wait! <laughs> oh! Pope's oh, making money. money. Now it's time for our new segment <laughs> called "What the Fuck is the New Pope Doing?" He's washing feet of the Muslims. <laughs> the Muslims? Was it the prisoners? Muslims? I thought it was prisoners. Or were they Muslims? Prisoners. prisoners. That's how, I'm that's gonna be fact check this. <laughs> yeah, that's how they say. It. That's how white people say. It. They say Muslims. <laughs> I saw Muslim. a picture of it. He was like getting close with the feet, like 
Maybe he has faces. a fetish. Yeah, for a fetish. That's what I was getting no, no, at. No, 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 no. He I really is one. trying to do good. I yes. Mean, we can make fun of people when they're doing bad, but he's really trying to do good. He's I trying to do something. I can make fun of people when they're good, doing good, too. It's just as funny. I know, and really. Y- you know what? I, I'm s- such a douche. I, I typed into Google Pope foot fetish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't even want to know what comes up. Is oh. it your Facebook, Gene? <laughs> oh! <Hey>. <laughs> and it's <laughs> like a number one topic on Yahoo. <laughs> Does uh, Pope have a foot fetish? That's, That's not nice. He's what trying to do good. Have you noticed that the last two popes? Whatever, it's, Jimmy it's hates a you. Thing. You're gay. <laughs> <laughs> the last pope like rock Prada loafers. That was fierce. I know. I know. This I one know. just gives foot jobs. That's hot too. It's, I mean, he's trying. A foot massage is never just a foot massage. Mm, it's a it's a gay way to something. <laughs> it's a See, gay come way. gutters for details. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the, can we'll end that segment right there? What the fuck's the pope <laughs> doing? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> well, we did. Well, I cut you off. Is we still were going to talk about Taylor Swift and Beyonce? Oh yeah. yeah. All right. You so know I'm a fan of Beyonce, right? No, he's not. We love Beyonce. I love nah, yes, nah, 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 nah. Beyonce and Jay Z are like my relationship role models. Ugh. They're both ballers. They both make their money. Mm. They both fuck women on the side, <gasps> and oh. you know they make it work. Whoa, so that's good. Minute. Suddenly, Beyonce kidding. became fascinating. Um, okay, so the whole thing with Beyonce, she's <laughs> going on this. She's not a lesbian, ladies. I'm sorry. Um, uh, you single ladies. <laughs> that I throw that joke. That video is amazing. Uh. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> So Beyonce is going on this like massive world tour. It's yeah. called the Mrs. Carter World Tour. It's supposed to be the shit and a half. Ugh. Like singing her one damn song. Uh, Get your life right, Jean. She is the it. Come on now. Is that what a new album's gonna be called? Because it's kind of a strange called it's Mrs. Called Carter. Carter. I'm a yeah. one song bitch. That's what it's gonna be. <laughs> She's <laughs> not a one song. <laughs> Name two songs. Crazy right in now. Love, Baby Boy Deja featuring Sean Paul. Diva. Check on me. Mm-hmm. One more? The one that goes Pacho Weave Lady. Oh, yeah, that one? That's my single. Pacho Weave Lady. I'm still trying to think of one I hate that song. But after you hear this, you're going to love her. Everything that you know about Beyonce will change. So she's going on this tour, and everybody knows Beyonce is a bit of a diva, right? She's got a bit. <laughs> well, she's got these director's chairs that got, you know, the logo of the tour and says Mrs. Carter World, World Tour, where she sits when she's getting her weave, you know, dry cleaned. Um, but she made a little tiny director chair that says B.I.C. Blue Ivy Carter. Aww, right next to puke, that's so cute. Child puke, labor, right? Puke. That's adorable. <laughs> I think that little baby is going to Is there a like, puking noise on there that you can make for me, please? I please. can do it on command. You just hate on Beyonce every chance you get. I don't hate on her. She's just... <laughs> <laughs> that was like Sorry. Super Mario. Meanwhile, the Kesha <laughs> album. <Sorry. laughs> yes. That was a that was a Kesha album. That was a Kesha. <laughs> I like Beyonce when she's in that group. Uh, Destiny's Child. Child. That group. Why? The, the Supremes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like her as the a Supremes. Now that was a real, and you know what? It was Diana Ross's birthday. I the watched that on the History was, Channel. I saw that. I don't know. No, no, God, I didn't even know she was still alive. <gasps> Remember when she was in Tucson and she was wasted? She, <laughs> was, yeah. well, she went. What happened? She went to. Uh, she went to Tucson to go to a rehab center. <laughs> and she got in the car, took <laughs> off, drunk off her ass, looking for a movie. This was like maybe ten years <laughs> ago. Uh-huh. And she was at Netflix, and they found her in the parking lot. She was drunk. at Netflix. Oh, first of all, <laughs> Netflix. How did she drive to the internet? She drove to Sony Hall on it. That way, she, she went to Blockbuster. <laughs> she went to Blockbuster. <laughs> okay, that's yeah. probably not right either. But keep you're going. lucky. Raised she drove to iTunes. She jump you. <laughs> <laughs> and that bitch drove to iTunes, <laughs> where, you, where you can find <laughs> the podcast of our show. Yeah. Shoot to Camelot Music. Yeah, subscribe to us on iTunes when you see us. Yeah, we're Diana Ross. <laughs> <laughs> drive <laughs> nightly. <laughs> I didn't know that she was sex so not important and working it out. Diana Ross? Do you know she was I thought drunk? she was like super old. I didn't know that she still drove. Like, she I thought is. she was like wheelchair she can barely How old is she? She's like 70. Oh. 70. Have, you seen that pic- City? Have you seen that picture of Tina Turner? <laughs> that's yeah. amazing. Oh, that's she, looks so she looks so very wow. photoshopped, but it, she looks fabulous. She looks like a fat Kiki Vermont. Let's call it for what it oh, is. Well, Come on. She does not look like a fat Kiki Vermont. That was a compliment. Kiki's fierce. I'm just saying she's got her drag look right. She got some thunder thighs. Yes. Oh, yeah. And you know what? Strutting. You never knew that she was born a dude. Uh, Diana. Who? Wait, who are we talking about? <laughs> Tina Turner. Tina Turner. Tina oh, Turner. Anime. Anime Bullock. Eat the cake, anime. Eat the cake. From Nutbush. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you trying to help Ike? You trying to... Oh, I love that. I don't know what the hell you're talking <laughs> about. Have you not seen yeah, what's love got to do? Oh, I'm sorry. I You lost me at Nutbush. I went back to last Nut week. Nutbush. Well, I'm pretty sure Lawrence Fishburne's played all of their husbands. <laughs> 
course. You yeah, haven't seen okay. What's Love Got to Do with It? No, I don't know what that is. How did you become an oh. American citizen without seeing this movie? You because have. he saw Snoopy or what? What Snoopy? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't I don't know. I moved here in 1931. <laughs> <laughs> the peanuts. <laughs> I came up from the Titanic. Got to swim half of the way. Hold on, Jack. Just don't let go, Jack. Don't let go. And that bitch let go. Here's my argument against that. Yes. She should have been in the water because she had more body fat, so she would have gotten more body fat than him. him. So she they would have both survived. They're dumb as hell. That's right. what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Get your science right. Get your science she right. She had a good 30 pounds on him. She That's beautiful. one thigh. Okay. I love her, though. I love her. You know, Fat this floats. must be a boring show when our engineer just and, and walks yeah. away. <laughs> where, where, where oh, this is your Buns. I'm sorry. He wouldn't be doing this on a Philia Buns <laughs> show. He's mm. moving L- light a match in there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How are you going to take a shit in a minute? That's not professional. <laughs> that is unprofessional, girl. <laughs> <is> not professional. <laughs> To leave us unengineered <laughs> to go take uh, a shit. What if something explodes? You should. <laughs> this is why we shouldn't serve nuts. At the show. You shouldn't oh, eat you before a show. Th- yes, no. Do you? I don't eat before a show because I don't want that to happen. Uh, Watch sh- this. Shut up, Gene. No. You run around and keep saying I have to take a poop. <laughs> <laughs> That's behind the scenes <laughs> shit that people don't need to <laughs> literally. <laughs> and then you tell everyone you have to take a poop. I know, and it's hard because I don't like to poop in public. And then he turns the water why, on, why thinking we don't hear him. <laughs> no, no, I don't like. Well, at the comedy spot, if you go poop, <laughs> that's why I never and go in the door, men's bathroom. At and the that door, they spot. start jiggling the door. That's me, like, girl. I get so it's nervous. Stressful. And it's very stressful. I'm like, oh my god, they're gonna, somebody's gonna come. And then they start jiggling, and then I can't stop pooping. R- remember <laughs> when you peed on yourself and you, you, <laughs> and you ran on stage? I did. Because <laughs> I forgot. I was there for that. That show. Not what. what yeah. Well, what happens is I get minutes before I go on stage, right? So I'm going into the bathroom. I was like. And they call out my name, and I'm like, "What?" <laughs> and I'm peeing. I'm like, and I put my shit away, and I run out, and I do the, and then I look, and I got a big wet spot. And I'm like, "Fuck!" And you didn't even wash your hands. They called and my then name. We, we had that. I was after you. Oh, yeah. Use that microphone. Oh my god, that thing touched my lips like three times. Girl, the, the microphone. Yeah. The microphone. Ladies, it's called professionalism. When they call your name, you go, you go. Did everything work? Yeah, welcome back it's to back. Our back. engineers. Back. Thank you. Oh, I was yeah. so offended by Gene Aaron, my life story, that I just had to go heckle him at the main stage of Pride. Oh. Ah. <laughs> he is embarrassed as hell right now yeah. in front of all those people. We, yeah, and she's wearing a there, different though. shirt. Look, we had to take her off. White boy, I'm sure it's going to be more than that to embarrass me. I'm sure. If Ophelia was here, you wouldn't be doing that. Mm-hmm. Why don't we invite her here? I we think should. We should. Oh, yeah, Ophelia. Yeah, like it's like an open invitation. If you ever want to come over. Uh, we would love to have Girl, her. just call somebody. Just call and call you're somebody. big people. You'll yeah. get in. On one of Holla. the stages, she's going to be uh, performing either before us or after oh, us. Oh, the yeah, yeah, I yeah. think it's after us. Yeah, yeah. So she told me, you good bitches better warm it up for me. Oh, oh that's what she said. Oh, that sounds like I believe it. I believe it. She goes, because she said, girl, I do not want to do a dance <laughs> number first. <laughs> It's hot out. Oh, to get it back going? Yeah, yes. To get it going? Oh. Yeah, but she's, you know, she has this performance where she used to wear this big fat suit and these big curls, and she went to this booty dance and went to, she, like, literally sat down, and the butt sprung her back up. Oh, that's <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> that happens that's to a talent. Yeah, she's very talented. She's yeah, she can, she can make some money in the hood off of that. That's all I'm saying. Well, <laughs> well, yeah. well, you know, we could do that. So were you going to talk about Taylor Swift? Yes. Um. I, there's not much going on with her. She's got this whole red album out where she looks like a fucking, I don't know, this thing from outer space. But my issue with Taylor Swift is not the fact that she's fucked everybody in Hollywood and wrote about she it. She sure did. Did Joan she Collins? have sex with John Mayer? Everybody had. I had sex with John Mayer, Mayer yeah, 20 I, minutes I ago. I had sex with John Mayer. He had sex with everyone. Yeah. Anyway, but she dresses like have sex a demented John Disney Mayer. character. I saw her um, on TMZ today, and she's got this hat on, these dumbass hipster glasses. Oh, I think I'm looking at the picture right now. Skinny jeans and red socks. She looks like um, a sexualized Urkel got bleached. I know. <laughs> That's what she looked like. I don't get her at all. I don't get her at she's all. She's like, um... I was like the a only... teenage girl. Do you she's remember like when... But she's a teenage girl. girl. But do you know when the Kanye West went... Uh, I was the only one that was like happy that he did it, Right, that. like get I the bitch off the stage. Always the same. Oh, girl, you're not that surprised. You have the number one album in the country. Are you really that surprised yeah. that you get an award? Shut the hell and, up. And oddly enough, that was the only time I liked Beyonce because Beyonce was nice. Yes, too. she should not have beat out single ladies. That's the most... I agree video. with Kanye. That video is the ish. It's the ish. 
Yes, girl. Hey, did, um, I just saw a story that um, Taylor Swift, um, she's getting some bad press because they found a bunch of uh, fan letters thrown in a dumpster <laughs> that, that were unread. unopened, unread. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they, they said uh, there was a bunch of glittery fan letters <laughs> 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 thrown in a dumpster. Well, how sad is your life? I wish you have to write a fan letter to Taylor Gene Moore, I story. wrote Bon Jovi. A, you a did? Fan <laughs> oh, my God. I did. What did you write? Right, right. Richie Sambora letter too. Oh, well, I did. Write? I did have a crush on Richie Sambora. <laughs> what did you write? Huh? Gotcha. I, oh, I wrote the same. I poured my heart into uh-huh. that letter. Yes. You can't what did you say? about what that. Did you say? And then they sent me. Uh, I got a uh, like a corporate letter back. Like yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was definitely like a corporate letter, and it had the uh, the whole band, and it was like a newsletter. What? They sent back well, to me. Cool. I, yeah, I know. Back, what, what, in your mind, what did you think was gonna happen? You're I, know, I thought it was gonna, I thought it was gonna go. Yes, I thought it was gonna go to him, <laughs> and we we're gonna be on tour. And I played the guitar. I don't now. I <laughs> and I might be able to. I don't. But I did then. And uh, I was like, oh, yes, I'm going to be a guitarist for Jovi. Bitch, you're for Mexican. Bon Jovi. You are Mexican. I, I bet you were just jamming out to one Ed Sue. Yeah. You're like, you could be alive. part of the crew. Uh, yeah, and my aunt, my aunt Yoli. Hey, Yoli. Um, she bought us uh, uh, headphones one year, and I used to blast that that uh, uh, Slippery When Wet album. Ew. Uh, <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. How Mexican? She bought the whole family headphones. <laughs> y'all shared it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, she bought... My sister and myself. No, my brother and my and my cell phone. I don't know if my sister was born yet, but yeah. Yes, I should go ahead. This brings up an interesting topic, though. If you could write a fan letter and get a f- response back from one celebrity, who would it be? Mm. Let's go in order. Gene Moore, uh, Burt Reynolds, without a <laughs> doubt, because I love Burt Reynolds. I'm telling my story. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you right now, Burt Reynolds is sexy and he is fine. And I know he looks bad right now and he's dying, but I feel like if I could have gay sex with him, and I'm sorry, Miss Evangelista, to be talking like this in front of you, but. I feel like if I could have gay sex with him, I could bring him back at least 20 years. I was going to say, you're talking about him now or in the back of the cannonball run? I days? can have sex with him today. And <laughs> will, he, will, he will be back. He will lose 20 years of it. He will look. His skin will be back. He will lose his hip. <laughs> That's what he's going to lose. I don't, I don't agree with this, Gene. What? Oh. <laughs> Burt Reynolds is sexy. He's hot. No, he's he's oily. Oily. He doesn't have his mustache anymore. He, oh, he There's looks no awesome right now. He's Burt like with Sally Field and all them bitches. How do you want to say Sally Field? Sally Field. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Boniva bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you right now. No, I thought no, that was Jamie, Jamie Lee Curtis. Lee Curtis. Girl, because she's got the good flow. Yeah. No, Sally Field was selling the Boniva, and she slept with. Oh, her. she was Boniva, not Nactivia. 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 Well, she's got good bones. <laughs> I don't have any problem shitting, so that Jamie Lee Curtis, <laughs> hermaphrodite bitch, can just stay out. Oh, oh, come oh. on. So that's who I would write to. Who, who, who? Nate? Come back to me. I didn't think about it. <laughs> Say Burt Reynolds, Nate. Say Burt. I definitely would not be Burt Reynolds. Burt Reynolds. I would do Shaquille O'Neal's ex-wife, Shawnee O'Neal. I don't know. Not a lot. A girl? No, not do her boo. <laughs> like write a letter. To oh, her. I get confused. Oh, God, so what God. we're talking about? She's <laughs> real inspirational. Like she's on the. Sh- she's. I, I don't know if anybody watches Basketball Wives. That mm, has been no. my show. I've even become. Well, black I don't watch her watching it. After sleeping it. with him, she'd have to be. I mean, God, yeah, he's that's so an insu- huge. She's imagine so him on petite. top of you. Huh? Oh, imagine uh. him on top of you. I want to come over. Give me that. Give me them titties. <laughs> and then, like, uh, wasn't he Shazam? Last yeah, time. Oh, yeah, he was Shazam. He was. Last time he thrusted, we had the Northridge earthquake. So oh. I know about that. You, you know, I dated this one big guy one time. He was a big boy. And he was like. Like l- Green Mile? L- yeah, he was, he was a big boy. <laughs> and he fucked. would, like, just, you know, we'd just be laying there. And Did he call you, bo- he, hold on, boss. I'm about to, <laughs> I'm about to <laughs> fuck you, boss. <laughs> he had a little mouse that it was just no, bring out of it all time. Oh, I don't touch that little girl. Boss, could you make me a crochet pile holder, boss? Hold on, boss. I'm about to come. And he would do that. And he would just put his arm on me, and I was like, I couldn't breathe. <laughs> I, I, I just imagine <laughs> Ernie getting it down with Michael Clark Duncan. Oh, <laughs> and Omarosa watching. Girl, that's a rape. Omarosa watching. <laughs> that's a rape. <laughs> that's a rape. I yeah. don't know. I like black men. Oh, we'll go down that email or green mile. <laughs> that eight mile. mile. I would go Whatever. down that email too. Right. M&M's All right, cute. boss. All right, M&M's boss. Cute. Yeah. I would mail Taylor Swift a cheeseburger. She needs to eat. Yeah. She's she not going to open it anyways. But. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh find yay, that in the dumpster. Do it. Uh, Pope music. <laughs> hey. Not right now. 
<laughs> well, I'm just saying that Burt Reynolds, I could change his I body. think, who would I write a uh, letter to? Oh, it was write a letter to not have sex with. Girl, can Did I, I get oh, my time? goodness. <laughs> can, I wanna, can I change my answer? <laughs> who would you write your I'd write a letter to Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> make sure, if you are going to write a letter to Burt Reynolds, make sure the font is big enough to where he can read it. <gasps> <gasps> oh. I mean, I'm not he saying old. I'm not saying that he's old, but he narrates the Bible on the History Channel. <laughs> he knew Jesus. He, he was there mm. on the original Good Friday. And that would be he was on that ark. That actually <laughs> would be funny. Burt Reynolds reading the Bible. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! That little laugh he did so cute. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm ta- you know be annoying with no. him chewing gum. Nobody, no, uh, one person in this room knows what I'm talking about. I know you know. Because you. we were born oh, after the Cold War. I think I would write. They probably have a the fan book. letter I'm too. Sorry. Selena. Selena. <laughs> I, Selena. Selena. I am the superstar of the world. Too Selena. soon. <laughs> she's and you would be crazy if she wrote back. <laughs> no, speaking of the Bible, you can probably get that on audible.com. Oh, yeah. You can get it on audible.com. And you have the version. The red versions, Sally Field. Versions. Boniva. Yeah. Boniva. Boniva. She's <laughs> helping those little old white women who have straighter backs. <laughs> I don't know. That's a good question, Melly. I have no idea who I would write to, aside from Bon Jovi. You um, know what? As a show, again. we should write to somebody. That would be really fun. And see and if see any celebrity writes go. back. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am going to write a letter to Shawnee O'Neill. If she's out there and she's listening, boo, respond. I need your advice. Monique. 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 I yes. used to like Monique, and then she got all weird. Like now she talks like sisters, and I'm like, well, you're trying to be. Uh, who's the name Oprah. of that lady who's getting ready to die? What's her name? The poet lady, <laughs> Maya <laughs> Angelou. Maya Angelou. Maya yeah, Angelou. Monique oh, is trying child. to be. Uh, and you know, if you go on Audible.com, there's a bunch of Maya Angelou books, and it's not just a plug because I've been on there and I I've I've downloaded them. Maya. Girl, she had one. I don't even know what she was talking about. Girl, she I know why the cage she, bird sing that yeah. shit you know, is the yeah. piece. I'm mm-hmm. a communication yeah. major. Yes. That's she sang what she had. One. She had one. Uh, she was, uh, when you eat a pa- apple pie, when you eat a pa- apple pie is real good. I That's yeah, really I sexy. loved it. <laughs> of I wanted an apple pie after you that. Know what? <laughs> I wonder if you could get that book that Deanna Casera wrote. Could you get that on it? Because she has a new book coming out. Yeah, no, I don't know if you can get it. That, that would be awesome to have her narrated. I know. Because uh, that book is so good. You know, Dina Casera, she, she was a guest, she, on, she was our a guest show. on our show. And she has this book. <laughs> and one of my favorite parts of the book is when she's talking <laughs> about working at a grocery store. And she said she would ring up people's stuff. Beep, beep, beep. You know, ringing it up. And she said it never, a day didn't go by without someone telling her. I used to have that job when I was in high school. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have your job. Oh, yeah, I used to have your job when I was in high school. You know school. what's funny? She, I, I love to read her Facebook. And one of her Facebook posts on Friday or last week was, um, if you're going to bring something back, please don't come to the customer service and start out with motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I read that too. That's funny. I, know. I wonder if she was the one who did that. I know she overcharged somebody like a hundred dollars, and then I don't know. Like, so you know what though? Like when you're going back to customer service, you're already heated. Like that's no. I I get so crazy when people do not get my stuff right. I am the person that people talk shit about the second they but turn around. But everybody makes mistakes. You just take it back. Not and in my world. It. Oh, you know what? I used to work at Walmart <laughs> in, in customer service. People bring back some nasty shit. Oh. They would bring back chonies. <gasps> Ew. Yeah. Uh, draws. Were they draws. Pe- whoa, whoa, whoa. Nasty draws. And they were you. They were you. Were they rolled back? And <laughs> 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 yeah. And on purpose, nice. one day we got a complaint. My friend Paloma and I, we got a complaint because we picked it up with a pencil. Oh. <laughs> like ah, uh, ew. Well, what the fuck are you supposed to pick it up with? <laughs> we have to like Walmart give her new tongs. No. I don't even shop at what Walmart. What was the complaint about the underwear? Well, we, we gave him store credit. <laughs> <laughs> That's so crazy. what was the complaint about the underwear? Like who they fit too well? I don't know. What My biscuit I is forgot what it And you had to take it back? Mm-hmm. I would last an hour at that job. You nasty motherfucker well, coming I in. I lasted three underwear. months. And then I got knocked off a ladder during the oh. holidays because people were fighting <laughs> for uh holiday Barbies. I holiday Barbies. Barbies? Yeah. Shoot. They were. They were serious. <sighs> You're more. Is You're, people get stampeded and you know. Yeah, you do get stampeded. Friday, Black Friday. People crazy. are so nasty. Mm. Barbie you, of you, all things, really. Jane, who is who is texting you right now that we lost you? No, I was. <laughs> <laughs> did you see that? It's the. Did you see me? I was trying uh, to be all uh, nonchalant. No, I was trying to. We call, when we called Eric out for taking a dump, we're gonna call you out for. Text. I know. Thank you for doing that. Uh, what else do you guys want to talk about? Do you want to talk about my horoscope today? You know what it said. <laughs> No, actually, no, crazy shopping. Speaking of that, the craziest thing I ever seen was Old Navy when they have those buy one get whatever like. The sandals for a dollar each. Oh, those are amazing! Oh, oh, and they were standing in line for it's. You would think they they got the holy grail in there. They're just 
getting those sandals and coming back out and getting more for like the, all of their eight children it's crazy that's crazier than anything i've ever those seen are i almost amazing. died i have like 30 pairs of those because you lose them and your dogs eat them because like they think they're chew toys yeah i, I have a few of those too. yeah they hurt yeah. my feet i didn't care for <laughs> what are we talking about again i checked out crazy what shopping we, crazy um, shopping you know i just brought it back for no reason yeah i did i'm sorry i went to my dentist this week <gasps> oh. speaking of dentists yeah. did you hear about that dentist who did not clean his equipment and now there's people that think that they have you you know gingivitis and the AIDS. AIDS. <laughs> my but dentist is hot. My dentist is hot. Is he? I would clean his equipment. What's his name? Because oh. I saw that post. Tell him to open his <laughs> I saw that <laughs> doctor boner. Because Maricky uh, Hardy, I remember I went to a dentist. <laughs> I thought he was going to say Mar- Hargitay. Mar- Hardy. Mar- Maricky Hardy. Maricky Hardy. Maricky Hardy. Are you listening right friend. now? We have a mutual friend. One time I saw her getting a fight in junior high. <laughs> She bombed on some girl. The guy she did. Yeah, she did. She looks like she could fight. Yeah. Anyways. Like, um, no, I told her about, I went to this dentist, and then they drugged me all up, and they gave me lots of Vicodin, whatever, and I was out. And so when he woke me back up, and he was like, Gene, are you up? Because I had to get something pulled out, and he was so hot. <laughs> and I'm like, hi. Was he, in, was he in Peoria? No. Why would I go to Peoria? I'm I don't know. There's a hot dentist. I am <laughs> not I got trying insurance. To <laughs> I go right here in the city. Whatever. Uh, the people in Peoria used to be white. Used to be, used yeah. To be. No, he. My, mine's Doctor Sonny. I forget. I don't know what his first Sonny. name is. Sonny. Yeah, I am from India. Do you any do anything with anybody? Were you his Jai no. Ho? <laughs> no, I don't. Are you racist? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. No, no, no thing, I don't. Huh? I'm Mexican by injection. I can't do white anything. You know Nathan's mom's right in the room. <laughs> we, her and That's I right. talked, and she is the coolest lady ever. I think we should have a redo Q and A with her. A redo oh God. Q and A. Yeah, please don't ask my mom about vibrators. I want to know what her favorite vibrator is. Oh, uh, see, we're good Catholic. Coming boys. to we the stage. The <laughs> See how... How about a different kind of question? Yes. Any right. other kind I mean, of question? I'll do the introduction. Yes, do it. Coming to the stage. Live. Or well, sort of. Uh, <laughs> recorded. <laughs> recorded live. Nate's mom. Okay. Yay. The redo. The redo. Uh, We're not talking about Mother Vi... No. Please help me here. He's going <laughs> to... You're not helping. You're just staring. I, 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 I need more breaks. That's why we don't do two shows at once. I'm already <laughs> thinking about what I'm going to eat for dinner. No. Okay, what's the no, question? Millie, what's the no, no, Millie. Millie. But be respectful, Millie. Of course. I wouldn't... I'm just kidding about the vibe. And Millie, right. now you come from... Where do you come from? Um, a vagina. No, 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 no. <laughs> Originally, I come from um, Bosnia. Okay, do you know is where that very is? Very close to Russia. Yes. Which is Bosnia, if you're so, Rick Ross. So you guys are probably like related. We talk backstage, and we have a lot in common. Yes, um, we're both beautiful women. In the <laughs> <world>. <laughs> um, so let's do the Q and A. We've all talked about, you know, what type of men we like. Ernesto and I tend to like them well done, while Gene, well done. you know, is in the sushi pool. Yeah. Um, What's so sushi pool? No, Gene, sushi like, pool. Gene likes um a rice roll, real white, real, real white and thick and juicy. He like, likes them really, like he likes them like they. You can see through them white. Like if you glow in the dark, that's not. Oh my! It's like he likes Casper the ghost. So go ahead and describe us your ideal man, ethnicity, body type, everything. Oh my god. Hey, quit looking at your mom and let your hey, mom quit be. Quit looking at me, Nate. We're ready. <laughs> 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 I don't have like just you know a certain look. It's yeah. just the whole you know the, the, the compassionate, depend. the smart. Is there a oh, celebrity that you like? Yeah. Who would you write a fan letter to? Uh, who would I write a fan letter to? What celebrities you like? Do not say Burt Reynolds. <laughs> Do you think Burt Reynolds is handsome? He's handsome. He's just old, getting older. <laughs> I don't know if I go that old. But, but if I slept with him, he would lose twenty years. He so. would lose his Probably life. Would. <laughs> <laughs> I'd never walk again. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this, this is what we've had caged backstage while you people were talking about last week Christmas hams and Russian dinner. <laughs> this is what her and I talked about. This <laughs> is why this woman is amazing. <laughs> we were trying to be Take G-rated because Nate was here falling oh, apart. Please don't hold back. Just you know, what no, you are not vibrators, but anything else is fair game. Well, what about well, leave the room, Nate? <laughs> leave the room, Nate. The, the, yeah, the speakers are on another. Oh, room. Let me see. <laughs> Stay right here. You're starting to. Get a little sort of you know, panting over there. Like yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody talk. So what's the next, next question? Yeah. Okay, so uh, you don't have one specific. Um, Gene brought up a very good point. Who would be your celebrity top five gangbang? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 
my we're not, God. We're not having celebrities run train. Um, no. I didn't say run a train. That is very two different types of activities. I'm I don't just know. Saying, if no, she there's could difference, have a, but we don't need to discuss what they are. If, <laughs> <laughs> if she could have a man sample platter, who would be in that yeah, 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 sample good. platter? That sample platter. The sampler. Who would be on who the do, sampler? Who do you think is the most attractive man in Hollywood tonight? Let me. Chaz Bono. <gasps> really? <laughs> I, I like Brad Pitt's look. Yeah. Oh, so do I. But he's kind of dirty. Don't you think he's kind of dirty? dirty? He's white. He's, that's too dirty. That's too dirty. He's like a dirty white boy. Mm-mm. Plus, he's a. You went with Angela Jolie. I'm, I, Angela. She's Angela so Jolie. Now. What's her name? <laughs> Angelina Jolie. <laughs> Whatever. That home record. She's a home record. She's a home record. She yeah. is a home She is. Why, she who, sto- who, oh, she, sto- she stole him from that Jennifer Aniston. She, the Jennifer's yeah. hide all the time. She didn't even know what was going on. <laughs> I'll take Jennifer over Angelina. That's <laughs> not fair, though, just because he picked her. You know, it's not her responsibility to keep a relationship together. That's Brad's. So if she's got that good puss and he's ready to go down with it, why not? You know? Good puss. <laughs> 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 Are those nuts on the table? I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying that women should respect women's when 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 they're married, and they should also respect each other's game. You know? Yeah, yeah. If Angelina's putting down something and Brad Pitt's picking it that's up, that's right. What you won't do, someone and else will. Yeah. Mm-hmm. On camera. <laughs> <laughs> I was only asked w- what they should, would look like, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's all. Just what they look like. What about right. um, ideology-wise? Like, who do you mesh with? It could be a politician. If you say Joe Biden, I won't judge. But <laughs> who's one person that you feel like you can have a good post-sex conversation with? <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Nate, write this down. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe the questions on Christmas dinner that my grandparents had wasn't so bad. <laughs> 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 this is what happens when I enter the room. <laughs> I think I think that Joe Biden is very sexy. <gasps> Ew. I feel I like I can take 20 sex. years off of his life. Oh, you no, can I can take 72. He is fine. Yeah. Ew. And I'll tell you this about Joe Biden. What about He him? made gay marriage on the table because mm-hmm. Obama wasn't even talking about it. Obama was afraid. That's true. He just and came Joe out. Biden made it come out. So. Also, women's rights. He is a huge pioneer for right. women's health care. You know, yeah. just A woman should have a right to choose because I tell you right now, the minute they take away a woman's right to choose what to do with their body, they're going to come right after the gays. Immediately, because they're leaving us alone right Th- now. Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> that, they, they keep both. their distance. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that wall is a wall of <laughs> protecting us. Thank you, women. That women wall. That is. I'm telling you, that's how I feel. I don't know. Oh man, I just said this whole thing. It goes towards the women's bodies and and you know the gays. Just stay. Do the you gays. stay? If it's not bothering you. Why do you have to care so much about these things? Oh, God. And if it's bothering you, just stretch. It feels better. (laughs) If it bothers you, look away. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you know, it's like the the last grasp of white power. You know what I mean? They want to be able to control women and and, and other people. So, I don't know. They got the hippies. We're here to kind of revolutionize the way we think. Do you know anything about the hippies? (laughs) I'm trying to segue (laughs) out. (laughs) How do you feel about the hippies of the 60s? I was really young then. Yeah, I, yeah. Believe it or not, I was not really old enough to be in, in, be in that generation. Because it was either, because you were in America at that time, right? I'm trying to make you like you were still in Russia. <laughs> I know. She was born here. I know. <laughs> born in <laughs> Pennsylvania, Gene. <laughs> Gene. Pennsylvania <laughs> recently became over. a U.S. state. <laughs> oh, Pennsylvania's right next to Yugoslavia. Neither one of them exists anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Pennsylvania <laughs> broke up in the 90s. <laughs> hey, hey, you know, so, something just so flashed funny. on my screen. Did you guys hear about that lady that... um? Uh, her co-workers won a million dollars and she d- she she sat out on the pool so she didn't put her 20 bucks in and they gave her the money but they gave her the money oh Aww, that's Aww. awesome i wouldn't have done it Mm-mm. no no i mean come on now it was if a small office it was a small real estate office so i mean if yeah. it's a small office and you're all tight i mean 20 dollars is not gonna break i would give bank. her 20 dollars <laughs> for real <laughs> you go, i would girl. give her 20 dollars <laughs> yeah i would give her 20 i would buy her a lottery <laughs> ticket <laughs> No, that's not that's that's what I, I drive it drives me crazy. No, you put your fair share in and mm-hmm. that's it. You get what yeah. You and if you don't it's called communist shared with her. Well you're a goddamn communist. <laughs> that's what I think. <laughs> Bringing back the Russia. <laughs> <laughs> Tying it all in. She's from Pittsburgh. <laughs> 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 and she 
and she is not that old, Jane. I like how she's like Millie's turned into the lawyer. The I, you know what? You don't have to answer that. <laughs> how was colonial America? <laughs> <laughs> Did you at any point churn butter? Actually, no. The butter churning is a valid question. You are from Pennsylvania, so. Do you, you take those with those field trips to the Amish place and, and when you're little you can see them churn butter and oh yeah do the wax candles thing it's really yeah when i really was in boring. pennsylvania <laughs> in do you? in oh. intercourse pennsylvania is that a place yes yeah. it is yeah intercourse? intercourse pennsylvania oh Does intercourse yeah. Yeah. look at millie all ears now what? <laughs> yeah i am packing as we speak it's not at all <laughs> as cool as it sounds what yeah. do you what is what do they do in intercourse why do they call it intercourse, intercourse? No. Pennsylvania has those two, the two big cities on each side, Pittsburgh and, and Philly, mm-hmm. and in between it's just kind of a bunch of towns that aren't that cool and kind of boring. I, I, until I, I went to Hershey for business. I've been there a few times. Did you do the tour through the little fake no, chocolate factory? I, I, no, oh. it was, it was, no, it was no, it was off season. So you I, I still didn't get to talking go. about that black guy <laughs> going to Hershey. <laughs> I went down to Hershey. <laughs> what was that Hershey big black guy's Herschel. name? Oh. Hershey, the black guy <laughs> that you were with that was like put his arm on you. Uh, the big black guy. Yeah. Oh. You can't, that's Raymond, Raymond Howard. John Howard. Coffee. John <laughs> Coffee. <laughs> His name is Sean. Sean. Yeah, uh, not that Sean. Not your Sean. <laughs> oh my God. And Sean, he likes to get it on. Bring it on back. Oh, there's a near near Bird in Hand. Bird in Hand, Pennsylvania. Do you know where that it's is? Bird in Hand. I Not heard know. of that one. Because it twos more in the bush. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Well, I don't know. It got weird. I as soon as the guy, it's been weird for like the whole show. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should take a public stand against talking about bushes of any sort. I don't believe in it. And as a part of my personal ideology, yes. bushes should not be mentioned. Are you a gold star gay? Have you ever slept with a woman? Oh. Um, here we go. Well, high school was a very confusing time. Yes. Um, so yeah. So you're not a gold I'm star. I'm not a gold star gay, uh, no, but trust me, the second I saw that I was digging back for that star, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So you did not enjoy yourself. Uh, uh, no, I left the star in it. So Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's so okay, is is the whole not being a gold star gay a thing? Like, do we look down on people who aren't? I Because my thing was, I want to try both things before I make a um, value. You can scientific do it. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> That's the I'm value of having mm-hmm. pride is being you able can, to you do, can do, what do whatever you want. You and this is weekend of pride. To whoever this is the you weekend want. of pride. Not to whoever you want, you'll get charged. Well, however, I am it's confused by bisexuality, <laughs> but that's a whole other show. Yeah, because that's not your life. Get your life right. Get your life, get your life right. <laughs> That's about? someone else's life. I know. So you understand bisexuality? No, but I don't care. Yeah, yeah. You're <laughs> like my grandmother. I care less. I care less. So that exact thing. You don't have to understand <laughs> it. Just be okay. Leave it alone. I could care yeah. less. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what's your view on you know gay marriage, gay issues? Tell us another generation's perspective. I think they should be allowed to get married. Yeah. Because if, you know, one of the one of the big issues is what happens if you're not married and one of you know, you get one of the partners gets sick. Yeah. Then who's gonna make the medical decision? The other one's not allowed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My boyfriend would just say pull the plug. You put it be like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just broke a finger. <laughs> pull the fucking plug. <laughs> pull the fucking plug. He's like asleep, <laughs> put him to sleep. Put yeah. him to sleep. Yeah. I know that bitch is probably gonna. He gets everything first. He's probably gonna get dementia first. So. Oh, that would be so much fun! I'd love having dementia. I they, know. they seem like they have so much fun <laughs> in life. They're I just know. always surprised. Well, it's the end of our show. <laughs> well, that's the end of our show. So speaking of dementia, <laughs> <laughs> so you can. This Where is gonna air. We have two minutes. Well, yeah. We enjoyed your time, and we hope that you enjoyed your time at <laughs> this Pride. This is the craziest show ever. The craziest show ever. It got you know weird. why? Because we're not here. We're at Pride. Well, you yeah. know why? Because I'm saving Burt Reynolds' life. So <laughs> I'm going to be sleeping with him to give him 20 more years. And John Bon Jovi, I'm going to write you another letter. Oh, my God. <laughs> so where's we're going to be at after Pride? I know I'll be uh, the comedy spot April 30th uh, at that open mic. Oh, you are? Jackson's. Uh, I'll be at the comedy 7th, spot. Or April 26th. Sixth or twenty seventh, right? No, twenty uh, twenty sixth, right? Comedy spot. I'm doing that too. And, and then we have the gay show coming up. We'll start in June. In June. June. When June, is that show? June twenty third, twenty third. Comedy in, spot. Um, you can see me at Stand Up Live in May. I forgot what day. I'm sorry. Yeah, in May. <laughs> I forget what day. When will you be with Burt Reynolds? Um, I won't. You're gonna go home and rent Boogie Nights, aren't you, Gene? Yeah. That is yeah. oh, that no. movie. The one with Demi Moore. For it's a good one. Striptease. That's a stupid movie. Oh, he's so bad. Right. Gator. Gator. 
That is a story for another Best time. Best house in Texas. <laughs> oh, that's a good movie. Deliverance. Deliverance. Dolly Parton. Deliverance. Give me another Burt Reynolds one. I don't know. Uh, Dukes of Hazard. Wait, what that's is not. You just the old <laughs> movies were Smokey and the Bear. The old. <laughs> <laughs> I love to rub his bears. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. It was in the original Hello, Longest Yard. Huh? You guys would like that. That's when he's in his prime. The Longest Yard. Hey you know, now. They, they, they I saw his one. <laughs> hey yeah. now. Thank you so much for listening yeah, to us. Yeah, who's working it out? We're, we're working it out. out.